Continuing coverage now of a wildfire growing south of Tucson near the Santa Rita Mountains. People living nearby had to rush out of their homes with little warning this afternoon. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kevin Bowden. And I'm Valerie Cavazos. We have team coverage in Sonoida tonight on the Mulberry Fire. Akega 9's Max Darrow has the latest on evacuation efforts. But first, let's go to Craig right now on the status and the crews. How are they doing out there, Craig? They're doing pretty well. Things have the, the wind declined a little bit that for a while late this afternoon, and we did have a, a surprise, fairly heavy uh, rainstorm of about five minutes or so that probably soaked things down and did some did help a little bit. But boy, this fire really blew up quickly, pushed by those strong winds. It was first reported about two in the afternoon. By late afternoon, it had ballooned to about 500 acres. Luckily, they've been able to apply a lot of resources to this fire. About 200 people are involved in it now. About six air tankers and it is already described as about 45% contained, but let's go have a look at some of that fire action this afternoon. As night fell, you could see emergency lights from fire trucks as firefighters guarded the homes near the fire. Earlier in the day, firefighters were able to hit the fire hard with air tankers. Six were available and in the air on short notice to drop retardants and try to steer the fire away from properties and into vacant land. Authorities declared 20 homes in danger and ordered evacuations. Two of the homes belonged to Susie Schwanz and her family. What's it like when you're home and <clears throat> the authorities come and say, time to go? Yeah, that was the scariest thing. Um, when the sheriffs roll up and say, you know, yeah, you gotta go, that's a, a, a pretty frightening thing. And um, we just um, wanted to get all of our live critters in, you know, the car safely and important things out. And then we figure, you know, the rest hopefully will be there when we come back. And she has had far too much practice at preparing to run from a fire. She was under a pre-evacuation order for the sawmill fire just a few days ago. In fact, she had just unpacked when she had to evacuate for the Mulberry fire. Now, of those 20 homes that were evacuated, we have now heard that one home was destroyed and what has been described as two other buildings are destroyed or damaged, but it's not clear whether those are homes or perhaps outbuildings or sheds. But again, a quick progress on this fire, but a lot of concerns for the morning. Uh, they, they will be uh, working overnight, we, uh, we believe, and the winds have returned. They are back up again, and that's going to be a concern for the next couple of days. Now, reporting live near Sonoida, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Craig, thank you. Now let's get to Max Darrow with more details on those evacuees. Max. Well, Kevin, Val, and Craig, despite all of those homes being evacuated, we're here now at the Red Cross shelter by the Pima County Fairgrounds. And at this point, nobody will be staying overnight. However, two evacuees did stop by for some food and supplies. Now, in some cases, like with the person Craig spoke with, people say they have friends and relatives nearby and they'd prefer to stay there. But nevertheless, these volunteers here at the Red Cross shelter are ready if and when people need it. Flames from the Mulberry Fire, visible just off of State Route 83, a familiar sight after the recent sawmill fire, a familiar situation as well. Just days later, people evacuated from their homes. They're not being forced to leave their homes. If they choose to stay in their homes, we're not forcing them to leave, but we've had nobody refuse to leave. I think they understand the seriousness of the situation. Law enforcement going house to house as slurry drops hit from a strong aerial attack. 19 homes evacuated in total as flames burned down the mountainside. The Red Cross ready to take in evacuees. Shelter manager Rhonda Markworth says though only 19 homes were evacuated, they're always prepared for more than they expect to take in. Of course, of course. Uh, we are ready for 220, 200. Uh, we can absolutely take care of whoever may show up. Whomever may show up also includes animals, a big concern for some evacuees. You know, they, they need somewhere that they can feel safe and, and make sure that their animals are taken care of too. And we have confirmed with the Department of Forestry and Fire Management that one home was destroyed by the fire. As Craig mentioned, two other structures, not necessarily homes, were also damaged as a result of the flames. Reporting live from the Pima County Fairgrounds, Max Darrow, KGUN 9, on your side.